we are told it is a revolution unlike any other. A new technological dawn powered by artificial intelligence promising to unlock unprecedented productivity and reshape the global economy. Trillions of dollars in capital have been deployed, chasing the promise of a new digital frontier. But beyond the headlines and soaring valuations, a critical question is emerging. Is the foundation of this boom built on solid ground or on sand? This is the utility illusion. While impressive in demonstrations, the reality for complex mission-critical tasks is falling short. In programming, experts aren't being replaced. They are being turned into frustrated reviewers, debugging buggy and inefficient code. The promised productivity gains are not yet appearing in the macroeconomic data. For all the capital invested, the needle on real-world output has barely moved. For analysts, this has a chilling sense of deja vu. The late 1990s dot-com bubble was fueled by a similar narrative. Get online or be left behind. Valuations were based on metrics like eyeballs, not revenue. Today the mantra has changed, but the logic has not. Capital is chasing compute instead of clicks, and multi-billion dollar valuations are built on potential, not profit. The fundamental flaw is identical, a disconnect from sustainable business models. The risk is a chain reaction. When investor sentiment inevitably shifts from hype to demanding returns, the correction could trigger massive write-downs across the tech sector. This leads to layoffs and a freeze in venture capital, starving not just AI, but all innovation of vital funding. The failure of the promised productivity boom to materialize could then weigh on the broader economy, creating a downturn that will be difficult to manage. An overcorrection now seems inevitable. The survivors will not be those who chase the largest models or the grandest hype, but those who quietly applied this technology to solve real-world problems with a clear return on investment. The question for investors and nations alike is no longer if the bubble will burst, but what will be left standing in its wake.